Hey, what's going on YouTube? The channel's If Sports Cards. My name is Ian, and we are back with another What's New at Target this week. You guys liked last week's video, but I will say the likes were a little bit low. Let's see if this week we can get above 500 likes. I guarantee you we can do it if we get the same amount of viewers that we got last week. I took a trip to my local Targets. We have two here in Rochester, Minnesota, and you can see here, this is the one I didn't go to last week. They had some decent inventory here. You can see that they have a limit of three items per customer. A ton of optic basketball, which we opened one of those last week. Wasn't that great, but I made a trip over to my closer target. They too had a bunch of optic basketball here, but they also had a little bit more of a selection. There's a couple of prism boxes. Last week we saw a ton of prism. A lot of that got bought out. And you can see here that there are a limit of five items at this target, but I didn't buy anything from the stores. I didn't need to because online had everything I needed and they had an even better selection. I have three products, one football, one baseball, and one basketball. Again this week, we're gonna open the Optic Football, which unfortunately I did see that this is not available at the time of this recording. I'm gonna release this video in like two hours. So uh, I'm still gonna put the link just in case it comes back up, maybe it will. But unfortunately, as of right now, that is not available on Target's website anymore. But these Bowman Mega Boxes for 2023 are available for $45 a piece. And this one I'm very excited about. Prism Monopoly Basketball. I was surprised to see this and it's still available. These are $30. They're booster boxes. And uh, if you haven't caught the top 10 retail polls of the week yet, this product is on there a ton. But... There must be a lot of these boxes because not everyone can be pulling cards like that, but we got the chance. But before we start ripping, I need you guys again, hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do so. Okay, now we can open some cards. We're gonna start this week with the Optic Football. This is the Target version. It has the pink rated rookies. You can pull the downtowns, which is definitely something I'm looking forward to doing someday. But uh, will it be today? I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I just cut straight through that box. <laughs> I did. Um, background, you can see Optic's been pretty good to us in the past. A lot of cool cards there. Got those graded with PSA. Another video I put out recently, if you haven't seen, I love the blind reveals. They're so fun. But uh, there's a spoiler for five of them. But there were 32 in that. So let's not spend a ton of time here. This is a, a set that Nikki and I, my wife, we try to collect the entire base set for. So... This will just add to that. Look at that. A black downtown in the first pack. I don't think that's even possible. Uh, Davis Parsons. We got a rookie on the back. Isaiah Spiller. Get a little closer for you guys. Ooh, what is this? Diamond Hands Jamar Chase. I know nothing about this insert. I have never even seen it before. I'm assuming it's nothing too crazy. Uh, the box doesn't say look for super short print or exclusive or rare diamond hands i don't think i'll double check and i'll definitely put a little edit in there if i am wrong but it's a cool looking card that is a very cool looking card pack number dose something shiny is it a downtown i don't think so but troy anderson on the rookie that's a hollow and it is of quandre Diggs. okay okay that's not who we're looking for. This one kind of feels a little thick. A little thick. You can get mem cards in here. They have the uh, blue, what is that called? Hyper, I think. Justin Jefferson. A, the rookies, Kenneth Walker insert. We got our first pink, Vilas Jones Jr. And it is a rookie for the Titans. We pulled Kenny Pickett last week. We'll take a pink. Malik Willis Optic continues to bless us. I mean, the pinks do us well. That's a nice card right there. Let me uh, get that out of there. Get that out of there. All right. No, I thought that was a thick back. I was wrong. I was wrong. But it did have some heat in it. All right. Mike Jasecki. Oh, I wasted it. Aaron Jones. We have a pink of Ebed Ketty. Something like that. And Jelani Woods. All these feel thick. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, not thick. All right. Jalen Ramsey. I mean, a couple of these cards have had nasty surface issues. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Dante Foreman. A Jalen Tolbert hollow. Ready to rookie. 
and a Theobo, the uh, or Thibodeau. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. Uh, these hollows look very, very nice this year. I do like those. I'm not even gonna say it, but it feels. Nope, it doesn't. Antonio Gates, Shaquille Leonard. Come on, Malik Willis again. There we go. It's not bad. And a Christian Watson pink. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let me get this stuff out of the way. We'll get that in our set. I don't know if we'll have the... Uh, I do have a link to our set needs. Uh, we still need some for Prism from this last year. So if you have some of that laying around, please be sure to check your stack. See if we need any of those. But uh, let's move on to this Bowman Mega Box. I have not seen any of these open. We have four 10-card packs and two exclusive mega packs which are gonna have the mojo i believe they always have the mojo but uh yeah i don't know i'm sure you can hit some autographs out of here doesn't say a whole lot on the sides does it where, where are the odds they don't have pack odds on the box oh that is weird no that is that is odd i'm curious if the back of the pack will have it uh, i said these are 45 bucks so a little steep if you're, uh, if you're not familiar with this product you have the prospects in here i assume these must be the two special packs but uh this is my first time opening bowman this year so let's see what we got i know a few of the top prospects because of the top 10 series i, I see some names pass by and i see what they're selling for so Josh Young, good rookie, but the rookies out of Bowman don't really sell for too much. Nolan Jones. Here's a first of Luis Rodriguez. Interesting photo. He's posing. A Baez. Julian. A and we got two chromes in this one. A first of Montez and a first of Julian again. Don't think either of those guys are anyone. Not none of the top prospects, but... I don't know. These, I don't think you can pull really anything out of, now I think about it, out of these base packs. No, like, autos or any, anything too crazy. I think the, uh, where you're going to make your money is in those two special packs. That almost looks photoshopped. We got a Perez. I mean, you can hit a good chrome, don't get me wrong. And a uh, Ramirez that's quite severely bent, but not a first. I recall a lot of people, you know, buying these boxes and just giving away these base packs because in the past, you really, you couldn't pull any color. It's a cool uh, Gunnar Henderson. That must be his first home run. I remember his helmet fell off like immediately when he was running the bases. Drew Jones first. That's the guy we're looking for. The guy, I should say, probably. Uh, Ramirez. Martinez. Give me a uh, Drew Jones first. Chrome, that'd be sick. Vince Combe something and Charles. All right. All right. All right. One more base pack and then we'll see what is in our really cool mojo packs. Get Tatis, Meyer, Verlander, Rada, Acuna, Barry, Jacob Barry. I think he's all right. Axel Sanchez. That's a cool name. First and uh, another Acuna. Cunha Matata. All right, let's see. Let's see. Can we get something good? We're looking for color. We're looking for autograph. I forgot to look. Where are... Someone out there has got to know the answer to this. Where are the pack odds? What? <laughs> this blows my mind. Tops always has pack odds. How am I just learning that there's no pack odds on here? Oh, those look nice. I do like these mojos a lot. They are cool. Uh, Janile, Janile, something like that. First, we got a prospect of Elijah Green. We have a Riley Green. He's pretty good. Rookie of the Year favorites. First, yes. Yes. Drew Jones. That's nice. Pretty centered. Looks centered. 
I'm going to be making a trip to the PSA. Gabriel Moreno something. Sorry, guys. I don't know a lot of these names. I know Drew Jones, though. This is better than the, uh, the Chrome. Come on, get in there. 12th overall prospect. Expected to make pro debut in 2023. Well, I better get this to PSA and get it back before he makes his debut. But uh, we got one more. That's good. That's the guy we're looking for. Now see, you know, not too greedy, but some color would be all right. Some color would be okay. DJ DL Hall, sorry. We got some color. I don't know if it's an auto or it looks maybe like a rookie of the year favorites with the raised white there. I don't know. We'll see. Jordan Alvarez. We got the. Uh, I thought these only were prospects and first. So we got we got some vets in here. Vinny Pasquiano. Well, there's a rookie. The Langliers rookie. All right. Do we have an autograph? A first, we have a first, first color for Detroit. We got a Abel Bastidas, 209 out of 225. First Bowman. What do we know about this guy? Number 21st Tigers prospect. Uh, signed as a free agent in 2021. Probably not the biggest card in the world, but we'll take that. Pretty nice. It's a fun product. Again, a little steep. 45 bucks for... I mean, I don't know. You can pull some pretty cool stuff out of here. Maybe we'll see uh, this product on the next retail pulls week. But now for the main event. I think. The Monopoly. Prism box. We can pull one of ones. We can pull some really short print stuff. And this is just a cool design. I hope they... Uh, I don't even know how to open this box. I hope they do something similar for football because I could get behind actually playing the game. They're kind of like, what, Pokemon cards? They got stats and stuff. I'll show you if I can get into this box. <laughs> all right. He got it all around there. There we go. But, yeah, this uh, this really took off. And, you know, prices have came down. I think I said like 25% in the last month in this stuff. So not selling as high as they were when they were right, right when they came out, which is typically the case. But this is cool. This is cool. All right, what do we got here? We got five, six packs. We're just going to leave this mess here. Let's see what we can do. Prism Monopoly. See, you got anything? No. Desmond Bain. I'll show you the back. So he has player rating, offensive, defensive skills. I don't know how to play the game. I have no idea, but I'm intrigued. Trey Young. This is a throwback design, I think. Maybe it's not. Uh, Prism Stars, is, I think, is what this is. All Stars? I don't remember, but Anthony Edwards and Kyrie Irving. Just base in that pack. All about that base. Except for when you're opening cards. Some color. All right, we got something here. We got something here. Miles Turner. Throw this light all the way up. Miles Turner. Scotty Barnes. Russell Westbrook. All right, we haven't got a rookie yet. I see some some dice. Some dice. Not a rookie, I don't think, because they'd be on the top. Marcus Smart. The dice, I don't know what the dice is, but player rating of 80. Probably a solid card to have in your deck if you're playing. For the Boston Celtics. I'm curious how many uh, how many of those cards, how many non-base cards do you get in these boxes? Looks like another base pack. Jalen Brown. We got a Rook. Dyson Daniels. And a Luka. What's Luka? 93 player rating. All right. So I wonder, I assume that uh, the parallels play exactly the same as the base. Again, I'm assuming. I thought maybe they had pack odds on here. It just says what you can pull. Ja Morant. He's probably pretty good. 93. Are you guys taking Ja Morant or Luca? You guys tell me. Colin Sexton. Benedict. 
I don't know how to say his name, but I know he's pretty decent. Mathurian, maybe? An 80 for a Rook, not bad. And De'Aaron Fox, 85. All these guys are pretty high. This one didn't want to open, so this one's got something in it. Something. James Harden. Volcevic. I think I said that wrong. Jeru Holiday. And a Marcus Smart again. Let's see. Does it play the same? Looks like it. 80. Yeah, I don't think anything different here. They should give him a boost, like a, you know, a one or I don't know. Maybe there is some sort of boost, but. All right, last pack here. Not a lot for 30 bucks so far, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what this last pack can do, but uh, ooh, we got something shiny. Devin Booker, he's pretty decent. This is the All-Stars variation. I think you guys call this a variation. Ben Simmons. Ooh, we got purple. Josh Giddy, what's our purple? It's got to be a rookie, right? For the Bulls. The Bulls. Is Michael Jordan in this set? Is he in the set? Zach Levine. This guy used to be a Timberwolf and he could dunk. A purple shimmer, it looks like. Purple shimmer numbered to 50. That's pretty cool. I like that you could get a, uh, a numbered card out of retail. I assume every one of these boxes might have a numbered card, but I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Here's kind of the uh, here's kind of the recap of the really, really good stuff. If I were to bag five cards, it'd be these. The Drew Jones Mojo Refractor first. Abel Bastidas, uh, what's this, Aqua maybe? I don't remember what 225 is. Zach Levine, Purple Shimmer, Marcus Smart, I don't know what the dice is called, but it's a cool looking card. And the Malik Willis Pink. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That was fun. If you, like I said, you can, you can still get the Monopoly and the Bowman. On Target's website, the links are in the description. I'll put the link for the Optic Football down there as well, just in case they get some back in stock. Be sure to check it out. I'm sure you guys out there will want to buy some of this yourself and open it. But uh, this was fun stuff. Good stuff at Target this week, I will say. But uh, that'll do it for this one. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we will see you again very, very soon. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out. Oh, and one last thing. Thank you to the IF fam for your membership here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support.